Hi, have you heard of this term called Kaizen? Do you want to find out how you can be a better leader by applying the concepts of Kaizen? If yes, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Dixon and I'm the author of this book, Leadership for Future at Work, Nine Ways to Build Career Edge Over Robots with Human Creativity. And I often got asked this question, uh, hey Dixon, my company is practicing Kaizen and it seems that Kaizen has been around for many, many years. So how is it related to the creative leadership concept Dixon you're talking about? Right. So to, today in this video, I'm going to share with you right, the creative leadership lessons from Kaizen. That means uh, specifically, I'm going to share with you right, three creative leadership lessons from Kaizen right, so that you can be a better leader. So what are the three creative leadership lessons from Kaizen? Let me share with you one by one. The first one is from Kaizen is change is applicable in both work life and personal life. Right? Change is applicable in both work life and personal life. Right? So what does that mean to you as a creative leader? That means you need to make sure that right, change is being applied right, in both the personal life as well as in the work life. Right? So what does that mean is that means um, increasingly the boundary between work life and personal life right, is getting blurred. Right? So if you want to be a great leader, if you want to be a creative leader, uh, you need to be open mind to new ideas, you need to open minded to changes. And those changes are not just happening in the workplace, but also happening in your personal life. Right? And nowadays, uh, with the workplace is increasingly of hybrid workplace, right? hybrid workplace, and also um, the more common use of remote team. Right? So there's a no clear cut boundary between work life and personal life. Right? And if you want to drive change right, in your team, in your organization, you need to address um, the personal life. Right? That means you need to cultivate some changes in, the, in your personal life right? as well as in your team members' personal life. Right? Because if your team right, is productive in his or her personal life, right, chances are th he or she will be more productive in the workplace as well. Right? So that's lesson number one is um, change is applicable in both work life and personal life. How about the second creative leadership lesson? Right? The second creative lesson is change is of compound effect. Right? Change is of compound effect. What does that mean? Right? That means if you want to be a better leader, right? if you want to drive changes in your team, what you need to do is you need to encourage uh, some baby steps, right? some baby steps in terms of changes. Right? Cultivate this kind of change because uh, daily consistency means massive transformation. Right? Daily consistency means massive transformation in the long term right so i i want to share with you this message is like you don't need to plan for big gigantic changes right you just need to encourage some step-by-step -step changes because change is of compound effect right that is something you can learn from kaizen and how about the third concept right the third concept is what i call change is communal right change is communal that means change is not just about one person doing the job, right? Change can be initiated by everyone in the team or by any single one of the team members. Right? So change is communal, right? Change is a communal project. So that means you as a leader, you need to encourage your team members to come up with ideas, right? It's not just about you as a leader um, to drive the change, but it's about getting everyone involved, getting them engaged. So in Summary, what are the three creative leadership lessons from Kaizen right, that you can learn and apply? Right? Number one, right, change is applicable, not just for the work life, but also for the personal life. Right? So if you want to drive change, you need to make sure that right, uh, um, change is applicable at the work level and as well as at the personal level. Number two, right, change is of compound effect. Right? Encourage your team to have like daily improvement. And number three, right, okay, um, change is a communal business. Right? That means you need to get everyone in your team involved. Right? It's not just about you driving the change, but it's about getting everyone um, to get involved. Right? So that's how the high-performance teams operate. 
So I hope this video sharing some is something useful to you. If you like this video, uh, share with your friends and colleagues. Once again, this is Dixon. Embrace creative leadership. Embrace Kaizen. Cheers.